refill the canister of liquid nitrogen. There's plenty to go around. All right, so. Really? Exactly. So I just put this in here. You can see that it's already bubbling here. So that means that this liquid nitrogen is really hot and it's boiling. So it's turning into a gas. And you can see that as it actually comes up here and then it's starting to spread out and take up a lot of space. So if we were to actually stand here for quite a while, we would see that this nitrogen would actually just boil away. It's really hot, so it's going to boil away very, very quickly. Now underneath what you're seeing is, well, maybe nitrogen gas, but it's not actually that. Liquid nitrogen is so cold that it's freezing the water in the air all around us. So it does that. The water gets really, really heavy, very lethargic. It runs out of breath, kind of like what I'm doing right now. And it wants to slow down. When it, that happens, it starts to just gently fall all the way down. Instead of when it gets really, really hot, and it blows up like steam, and it goes all over the place. We're going to see this here. And it looks like this liquid nitrogen is almost gone already. So I want to make sure uh, that I can contain some of it. So I'll use this in a little bit. But I mentioned that uh, liquid nitrogen boils, and we're going to see it boiling throughout the show today. And usually, when we want to see something boil, we put it in something like this. Does anyone know what this is? Kettle! You shot it out, everybody knows. Kettle! Yeah, exactly. This is a kettle. So usually we put water in this, and the kettle gets really, really hot. And when the kettle gets really, really hot, the water gets really, really hot. And uh, who knows what sound a kettle makes when it gets really, really hot? Bubbly sounds. Bubbly sounds, yeah, perfect. I'm hearing some whistling. Perfect. That's what I was looking for. So we're going to hear it whistling. What's actually happening is usually all of the water that we heat up in here is turning into a gas. And it wants to try and escape out through the only opening it can, which is right here. And that's how we get that whistle. That said, that happens when it's really, really hot because that water is turning into a gas. Is it still going to have the same effect with that liquid nitrogen when it's boiling at a really, really cold temperature? Maybe. Who says yes? Maybe. It will still whistle. Who says no? It's too cold. It will not whistle. Wait, it won't whistle. All right. I see a good show of hands here. So we're going to actually test this out. I'm going to pour this back in here. If you didn't have your gloves on, your hands would probably be burning right now. Exactly. They would be very, very injured right now because it's so incredibly cold. It'd basically be like getting really, really intense frostbite. Alright, so I've poured my nitrogen in. That is safe. And then I'm going to pour this inside here. And then we're going to see what happens in 3, 2, 1. Ooh. And you can see that this kettle is still whistling because all that nitrogen is boiling away, turning into a gas. And we've closed off all the openings, so the only opening it can actually escape from is right there through that small hole. So it rushes out through there and it creates that whistling noise that we're so familiar with with a lot of this boiling water here in this kettle. But you can see that, well, is this already gone? Did I lose all my liquid already? Yeah, you can see that I lost all my liquid already. It boils away very, very quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try and, uh, well, put it into this container here. I have a stopper, so that way I can just kind of like pat it down, and then we'll be safe and we will be 